play. There'll be two players waiting for him, though. I don't know if he's going to check the right corner. Boy is right then. Boy's going to be awarded a free kill and a free gun. Wow, that's actually huge when it comes to Anbox's potential to potentially swing this round over. He's still a Vanbox largely playing passive as Sentinels want to win the middle of the map, and they have. As Sick is able to really establish that by taking down Boy. Seb a little bit trapped out here, making sure they want to try to isolate for this pick. And there it is. Shazam able to find the elimination, so they will pick that Ares at least back Last up, or at least they can contest a little bit further. And now the SMGs start to light things up. It's just down to Yay, 34 HP and a Sheriff to play with. And you don't feel great about his chances here. Yeah, he's not, uh, no access to the drop Ares either. He's about to be surrounded. Sentinel is definitely going to farm these kills. Third kill going to Shazam, by the way. So trying to get that Blaze Storm up and early. Is the door in the rotation to mark it, and Shazam is still contesting this. Curveball comes out, flashing away, not going to be able to get the Tailwind for Shazam. Android looking for a second, will be zoned backwards, but he's going to have a little bit of help. The pinch is trying to get there, but it's not going to be successful, oh. but sick! Able to find himself two kills, solely holding onto the B site. Not good for the third. And Endbox will find themselves a 3v1 in the last rotator of Zoms. Is all the way out by EA, and he's likely going to get contested right through mid. Wins the first battle. Second one's still winnable as well, but Seb just tapping, able to lock down. After this Aldron finds some information, and Shazam might be able to just single-handedly shut down any approach towards B with that shot to come through. Finds himself a second. The curveball's there, but the Cyber Cage is actually just as good. And Oh, Dapper stayed alive, at least for a time. Android will find the kill, but meanwhile, off screen, Sick has traded things back around, and we still have Sentinels with a 3v2. Make it now a 3v1, leaving things just down to Seb, and he's at the wrong side away from the spike. Super important that Sentinels did have two flankers coming over towards Tree. You noted at the start of the round, they started three people at A, two of them played towards Tree. That's going to be Zoms, that's going to be Sick as well. Front of back was used to push over towards Pizza. Sentinels currently don't know where Seb is. Seb is completely unknown, but they do know Seb has to come for the spike eventually. Less than 30 seconds. Now, Seb would have to win the first 1v1, try and outplay Sick by maneuvering, and then get this plant down in time. And I don't know that he's going to be able to even find this first kill because Zombs is around the corner, and it's about 15 seconds left. I don't think he can even plant. Well, the timing is pretty good, though. He does find the first kill. The second one around the corner. Oh my God. Seb is able to clutch up. Always play. Sentinels, they knew the spike was down. They were just trying to play cross-angle. Rotation, and that's exactly what you're getting. They're able to read two players over towards a tree. They love their setup as far as what they're looking at over towards B for some reason. I mean, Sinatra is still here with a recon dart. He has used both of his shock darts, but Dapper's still in a position to try to play close to this blaze wall. Shazam's good for one. He's able to help out from the middle of the map. Backing up is Sinatra. He finds another. And even though Boyd's on the site, can they really do too much? And it looks like, yes, they will be able to get onto this site and probably play for a plant for this 2v2. Big recon coming through from Sinatra will reveal the fact that Airbox are pushing through B main, but it's going to be the front of the shadows coming through from Boy that kills Sinatra, and you see the opposite from the shadows from Zoms a little too late to help because Boy's already taken up the position at the back of site. He stops Zoms from getting the TP. With the plant in a 2v2, Yay has B main control, but with only an operator, he needs to find the right timing. It's going to come down mostly to Boy, and while neither of them are going to get much done here, Zoms and Shazam for one each. Free operator on the floor as well. Free defuse, one extra alt point towards the blaze storm, and Sentinels will pick up fine. Sam just says thank you very much, <laughs> as I'm sure he swoops that. <laughs> they won't use unless they have a really good chance of winning this round. They're just trying to execute through market. It's gonna be Dapper for a nasty couple of frags, oh. but once more, Dapper drops the gun, so it is gonna give Anbox a bit of opportunity. Yeah, Dapper really doesn't even confirm that much damage by the look of it either. So now Inbox actually have an opportunity. Jumping around the corner, poached for one, but sick on the flank. They've completely trapped the last couple of players. It's just down to Ye. And they're going to use the run it back here. They do not want Ye to get out of this position. They really want to get this operator back into hand. And this timing could be everything. Okay, opportunity here. Ye has gotten away from the run it back. And he is now reset things to a 1v1 with the spike in hand. This is very winnable. Absolutely. I mean, they pick up guns. Yeah, he gets his operator back, the one that he originally bought off the hands of Shazam. 20 HP, and Sick has already used the runner back, like you said. So ultimates have been confirmed by Sentinels for this round. It was Zoms running at Ye with a knife out. I mean, the guy has completely no idea where Ye could be. And this is a very similar situation that we saw in an earlier round where, I mean, who was it? Seb was kind of outplaying both Sick and Zoms alive. Oh, and now the same thing could be happening. Yep, they're just not looking the right way. Ultimate orb. 
Will it be picked up here is the real question. Sinatra in a position to try to spam some players down. One has gotten through. Dapper in a little bit of trouble. Actually gets taken down by Ye, but Shazam responds. Essentially giving him the favor right back. Sinatra in a really troubling position also drops as the numbers just overwhelm. So a 4v3 and box on the site and they will get a plant. It just comes down to for Sentinels. How can you retake this? You still have Zombs who's lingering mid-map. Do you trust that the Operator can find value? Do you just go right for the Bloodstorm push-through? That's the real question. Boy who's picked up the Odin. Opportunity to spam on either angles, and it looks like he's going to be trusted to watch outside while the rest of his teammates watch toward the inner. Shazam. One knife left. Able to find a reset with it. Now down to three. Knows there's a player back sight. Boy's found a kill. There's the play! Oh. Shazam! He finds himself a third. Zombs for a 1v2. Knows there's a player in Arches, but where's the last? That's the real question. And as Zombs takes the peak, Boy reveals his location, and a thrifty round comes through for the 4v4 with the bomb being planted. First responder, Sinatra, barely gets there in time to spam through the smoke as well. He was the first one to rotate after he realized it was most likely a fake. Good job by Ambox to sell the fake, by the way, because use the ultimate. Two players go in and out of the cage, so the cage actually helps sell the fake because it sounds like multiple players may be entering. But as we get into the full retake now, Ye can't connect the shot into Shazam, so big opportunity for Sentinels. A lot of kills oh coming God. through. Android for three. How's he found these angles? How's he found these shots? Straight onto the lane. One player alive now, and it will be four confirmed. Android died times and this is definitely going to be a die time they've only got the stingers the spectres hit. available oh my goodness Dapo had to get that first kill and he can't yeah two kills for and box looking pretty solid as they do cleanly take the b site trying to contest gonna get the jet of shazam nearby curveballs for sick they will successfully retake the boathouse and actually nobody from and box is playing b main they're all stacked on top of the site so chaos is about to unfold. Can Sick find value on the way forward is the real question. Oh, Yay, no. opportunity. Misses just a touch wide. So now it's just down to how do you get back into this? Paranoia comes out. A oh, beautiful sense of information coming off the recon. Oh, yay, good for one. Zombs on the way in. Finds absolutely nothing. They will try to fall back and make sure they hold their lives. And just another little, oh, okay. Right wow. click peek. I was about to say, Sinatra seems like he wants to give this another go. And he gets rewarded for it. But Seb will immediately respond. And now he has to play essentially gatekeeper here. Shoulder peek, no problem. Seb finds the kill. And then Boy off screen is able to take down two. Last player is Shazam. He will be paranoid. This boy will fall back and then shut the door quite literally on this play, giving him just 48 seconds to try to diversify how he wants to play the round. Step from behind, not going to finish the kill, but takes Shazam down to 65 HP. Tailwinding after him, wants to chase and gets rewarded for it. Now 1v2. That's the 50 HP player down. 1v1 over towards spawn. No there it is. Shazam still gets that one as well. It's a 1v1 now. Low HP, so sudden death. Basically a bullet <laughs> or two will do it. Not a lot of util left either. Boy has one smoke. 30 seconds until he finds another one. Won't even have 30 seconds to wait here. It, will, it could actually come down to Shazam for a massive clutch. Could it happen again? Here we go. Sentinels in position. Look, I mean, Shazam is completely unknown. Ambox had to think really hard about this one because Boy has to do a lot of searching. Well, he has cleared off the staircase. No information at all up top towards this back alley, though. Now, all of a sudden, Boy is on site. He's cleared the archway, and there's really only one place that Shazam could possibly be. He's going to try to stick for a halfway defuse. Shazam trying to maybe come on in, and no! Boy gets the weapon up literally just in the nick of time and survives with 7 HP. Boy from late, oh, so just flash. holding their life is poached. Curveball won't really do too much besides, like you mentioned, Flash Android, but there is nobody there to be receiving it anyways. So Spike gets down. And there's going to be an exit here for Sentinels to play for a Hunter's Fury through long A. Which is what it seems like they want to do. There is no flake coming through. Anbox is just solo stacking all of their members defensively from the side door. So it's going to have to be a quick and clean retake. And here it comes. Podburst comes through. Hot Hand's also there. Shazam will see one cross. Dapper able to find a couple and... Just for good measure, the Hunter's Fury will be pulled, but not need. And now the full flank from Android is on the way. Run it back is going to be used, but this is actually from Sentinel's POV, and they do read Android in the back. So now he's a bit stuck, and you have to hope that teammates from inbox from the front can find kills, but they're just simply not. Sam Sinatra find a couple. Yay up top, good for one, but this 3v3 is running out of time to make plays happen. Sick down low. We'll also make sure that Seb can't get on to point. Yay with three kills, but the time is ticking. You've got to find a way to find this last kill, and is enough time going to be there for the defuse? Looks like yes, and Yay has gotten the full ice. 
Unbelievable. The ice ace. That's really what I meant to be saying. Something over towards A, and then B went quiet. The camera sees nothing over towards B. Here comes the paranoia and the hit. Uh, the flash was decent, but the shots just weren't able to lock things down. Ye is able to find two kills from the back. Not going to get a third, so the hopes of this defense lasting on the back side of pistol upgrades has pretty much been eliminated unless Seb can do something incredible. Okay, there's one, but the door will shut, so you will not have an opportunity to collect that weapon as he goes up top. Dapper will meet him, and Sentinels will be on 10. Check the entrances. It's just going to be the camera to spot everything. The camera will find two. Not going to send the spy dart cam out yet. Android has also hit the running back. Can't find the first kill, though. Now the paranoia comes out. Here comes the challenge. They should find one for free. A little shaky from Boy, and while that happens, Sick finds not just three. How about all four? 13 seconds on the clock. Spike will be planted, and Ye has no choice but to hold this operator for the next round. Any exit kill would be okay, but more importantly, you have to hold this operator because ABX is not comfortable financially. And I think for Sentinels as well, at a certain point in this post spot, they might actually want to hunt this gun down. Like you said, it's not just about potentially giving Sick the ace, which would be pretty cool. I mean, Sinatra kind of tried to bait for him a little bit there as <laughs> Sinatra dies and Sick's like, where is he? Give me the kill. That being said, though, the more important thing is taking the gun away. And as the time where the spike goes, here we go. Sick is going to go hunting. He's looking for this last kill. Even if he dies, doesn't matter. He can afford another gun. It's Ye that will be in trouble. It's Anbox that will be in heavy trouble. He should be hearing the footsteps. At this point in time, Sick is kind of going the wrong way. And I think that's what Anbox have to rely on. Two more rounds of this. I mean, one round where hopefully they don't lose too much. And one more round where they can... The last one, it will be 24. They can get some guns available. Flash is being sent through now. What opportunity to swing in. Unfortunately, Android gets taken down. And Shazam able to find the easy counter trade. And now Seb, next one up. Good for one, not a second. Yay, we talked about his lifeline here potentially with the operator. Misses the first shot. Sentinels on the B zone. Going to be able to get this bike planted, but Boy has found a kill at long range. That actually makes the spawn angle a bit more safe for Anbox to try to contest this. A 3v3 retake. Weapon's still better for Sentinels than Anbox, but just marginally. Recon bolt comes through. Sick has completely avoided it. Now as he peeks out, he's able to find one. Knows there's a second one nearby. Curveball up top. Good help from Shazam as he finds his third. And all these tricks to clean everything up in the backside. Going to get most of this pressure, and he's not really interested in doing much else besides throwing a couple of shoulders. Nice shot there from Android. He can also get the dismiss to stay safe with 58 HP. Would love to heal off that one, but would be too greedy. Of course, you have Android playing Rainer starting out with, you know, the Ghost plus no armor. That means if he's got a high chance of being fragged as well, he's only got 100 HP. If he doesn't get a kill, doesn't get the heal up, he's in a bit of trouble, which right now, 50-something HP is not great, but still alive. That's the important thing. Sentinel shifting over towards B now. Early smoke to cover the link. But we'll come down to Poach to try and hold. And again, Poach required to play a bit better than he had. Not just on the last map, but also today. Not even going to be able to contest really the plant whatsoever. Boy going to pick up, though, and just run right on in. He'll find a headshot under the Shazam, but the spike, of course, already being planted. Means that for Anbox, you've got to find a way to retake through this mid staircase. And you do have Ye lingering through garage doors. He will actually hit the sound cue, though, as he comes through the cyber cage. Sick finding another elimination from the offensive standpoint. Button onto the site. They go. Ye's actually able to find two kills. Now it's just down to Zombs trying to dance in and out of the dark cover. Not going to be successful in the retake for Inbox. Yeah, this is going to be a four situation. Sick up close and personal. Dealt with very heavily, but Poach will only find one. Has to back away. Android will be traded. So 4v4. The take still coming through. Zombs for two. Ye was being threatened, but stays alive. Now it's just down to Candy respond to Dapper. He deals a significant amount of damage, but isn't able to find the elimination. So now just down to the 1v2. Seb trying to enter in, has a Spectre, taking it very quickly. Lots of footsteps being made, and Dapper just swings wide, finds his third. Back on six, so if they prioritize an orb, that could be the play, but they are going mid instead, so no orb will be found. And no one home at B either. Yeah, just instant cloudburst tailwind in, get the spike planted, set up the post plant. And box. Gonna come largely right outside of the sea garage. One for one exchange. Sick able to find it now a two for one. Android couldn't fully get through. So now he's getting spammed through the doors. His secondary peak denied by Sinatra up top to the post plant. For Sentinels will be relatively uncontested from the back. It's gonna have to be Anbox finding some incredible shots. It would be nope. They found one and a second. Shazam holding down the trigger finds the kill. 
But now it's just down to Poach, and as Sinatra throws another shoulder, take. It's gonna be the Empress coming out. And Android really start to pop here. Leers through. Paranoia as well. Seb good for one from the garage. Android another. Now we're on the corner. Android doesn't expect it. Sinatra stays alive. Can he find a second? No, he will not. And so now it's down to a 2v3. Last two members are Sentinels playing through C Long. They've got a really good look at where this spike is. And Sick can continue to try to harass any try to contest this because he's got another curveball. But boy, we'll just find both kills at range. Plenty of time. Or will it even be a 1v1? Have they fully stacked through? Curveball in a pretty solid spot. Android good for the first. Dismisses and is just barely able to get around the corner. So that's the operator now. Hunter Screw going to come through. And that's actually going to force Android to take a challenge. And while they've done that, there will be a kill. But otherwise... Through the middle of the map, Poach has actually found two kills, just Don't letting it go remaining. right through Sewer. And that's going to be good enough for Inbox to find themselves in a 4v1 immediately after the exchange. Well, Zoms is in a world of hurt now. Yep, there we go. Yay coming from the angle from C. They've been in this position before. They just gut check call to get the spike plotted at B. That will be the case once more. Dapper finds Boy on the long flank through A main, leading Poach to try to deal with the exits, and he just gets blessed with a bit of spam through the blaze wall, keeping the one number advantage Rand box for this retake. Another this retake has very high value. They still got a decent amount of U-Tool left. They got a flash available as well. This paranoia could be big. Zon's gonna have to confirm more. Shark that will take him down, and Ambox still have now two players in, in terms of over what Sentinels have. Not just the one. Dapper, huh. no more kills available. Ye takes up everything. Three on that blaze storm, and even a couple members surviving on like one HP is supposed to do. Give you that 5v4, and Ye still has more uh. players that he can find. Oh my god, boy. Yeah, he gets burned alive. Hot hands turning boys' feet into a little bit of smoldering instances. So now it's down to the hit coming through. Sentinels trying to scout things out with Zonks. Nice first attempt from Android as he goes one for one, but then Shazam responds. And we get now a 2v2 situation. They're all thought to be committed, and with this Dapper will know the full flank is coming. Gets the spike planted. Zoms will recognize the threat. Dapper reads the second with his bright art. And so now it's down to Sentinels as actually Dapper's gonna challenge long around. To see if he can maybe catch out Poach. And the timing is pretty darn good. This comes down to, will there be a check here for Poach? There is at the oh. exact right second. So now it's down to Zoms for a 1v2. Seb will toggle the defusal. Zoms finds the kill. Knows he needs to check it. Zoms takes it with two headshots. Next round of the half. Run it back and he spent paranoia as well early. Sick really wants to chase down this kill. And okay, oh. this is a crucial kill. Android though able to respond. Said picking up the pieces for two. And that will be four members down. Just up to Sick who does teleport back to safety. But we'll throw an asterisk next to that. Simply because of the fact that he's actually stuck yeah. right now Safe in this now. cubby. Yeah. <laughs> Safe until he either gets pushed or he has to go in. And well, he's going to have to go. One flash available. A wall available as well. Look, if the spike was a little bit closer, he'd be able to maybe make some magic happen. The best he can do now is wait for the Empress to go away and then eventually still turn and eventually still have to swing and eventually still probably have to die. <laughs> he recognizes the situation. Maybe considering a bit of a jump peek here. Curveball goes out. Reads that there's a player to the left. Also knows the sniper rifle's watching from afar. 35 seconds. And, well, the hot hands, that's what to say. That might connect. Yeah, it sure does. It forces Boy a little bit out, but he'll stay safe. And now there's really not much utility left for Sick. And he will eventually drop Android for three in the round. And that'll get us to it. So that's going to be a three-man defensive stack over towards B as Sentinels are predicting that this is eventually going to be a B hit. Oh. Oh, Sam reads every bit of information, but he is a little bit stuck. Does walk away with one kill. Not bad to trade out his life. Zom's with a quick rotation. Long range shots are good, but we go pitch strike to the kill. He just two for two so far. Sinatra trying to spam through the box. Hot hands as well, but even still, we go back and forth, trade for trade. And it's a 2v2 with the spike planted. Retake is going to happen quickly. Dapper up top, going to read one bit of information. That's the last bit of information required as Poach is on 34 HP. Nice shots there. Shock dart very well could connect. It does, giving him a chance, but Dapper. Locks down a little bit of a wall bang headshot and Sentinels, they hold against the force by and now they're up two. 
recognizing the force buy from the previous, knowing that they can just get aggressive, maybe find a couple of opening kills. Coach will find one. Sinatra holding the angle, gets a first. Shock dart through, good help. That's gonna be three for him, looking for the fourth. Of course, why not? Long range, right click. Beautiful hold on the sh Might have to start thinking about C so far is clean. There is a camera there. Dapper's gonna have to toggle this camera. He probably will do so now as the utility comes through. Empress will be popped. Spike is not immediately being planted. Sid coming through, timing off the running back. Good for one. That's the spike was on the ground. They could technically just wait for this running back to expire and just try to milk out the rest of this Empress. Don't give it a chance to find any kills. Spike will be picked up. Empress about a quarter of the way to being done. And yeah, Android's gonna get this spike down, but Sentinels, they've killed off a lot of time from it. And now as they push forward, maybe there's an opportunity, but yay, in the dark cover, we'll find two. Leaving things to a 1v1. Zom to the Stinger, long range shots! Oh my. oh my goodness, how good were those shots? Finds the headshot, and Anbox now all of a sudden, you feel them start to panic as they're down four, six to- Going awkwardly over towards C, they're gonna need to think about that a little bit later on though. As there's four rounds now for Anbox to try and catch up in, and they already lose two players. Oh, man. It's all gone wrong in the last couple. Android trying to salvage. Able to find one. Second player on the corner, able to tag a little bit to be an elbow there for a moment. So Poach will be allowed to plant. Very doable still in a 3v4, simply because you do have the Hunter's Fury available. And the Shock Dart value lands right on Seb's head. Beautiful angle from our observers. But even still, Android able to find a second and a third. Make it a fourth. Is he good for the ace? He's still fully healed. 150 HP. And does Shazam find one? He will line up all three of them. What a mistake for Anbox. A round that they surely should have had. Now they're down 6 to 11. Get eight here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This has to happen. The most important thing here for Anbox is to identify where the operator could be, and they're about to find it as Boy eats that shot from Shazam. And oh my goodness, they're trying to just stack up Totem Pole over towards the C entrance, and they thought maybe they could punish. The one thing that could cost them this round, the one thing that could save Sentinels is going to be coming through from the operator, or I guess Sick just hiding around the corner with a Bucky. They're stunned to fall apart now. Two down from Anbox, and potentially two guns being picked up. Android has to go absolutely beast mode. He's gonna get some information to his left, but doesn't check his right. Last player in the mix is gonna no be way. yay, he falls. Oh man, it's just Sentinels on Drifty Rounds. In a more iconic duo, I dare you. 12-7, the only kill on the operator. So for Anbox identifying where the operator was gonna be, super important, but other than that, I mean, yeah, the Bucky was on board. Sick was the only one with the Bucky. We talked about Zoms and the rest of them with Stingers already hiding around corners. Anbox couldn't clear them. They couldn't clear them well enough, and everyone gets fragged. It's disgusting. It nearly was a flawless. Here we go. Shazam gets an opening kill, but Sinatra gets traded. Double push through middle. Dapper has existed right through this leer. And as one challenges through his cyber cage, he'll find the kill, but does again get traded. Now on to six. Nice flash. Curveball's good. Shazam able to help out as he finds an elimination. Just down to Poach. Deals with the running back. That should be a free kill onto the Phoenix. It will be. Now down to Shazam. Can he find the corner angle? Poach is stuck literally on top of this site. As he takes the challenge, he will find another kill. Al drone up. Does he get the tag? Yes, he does. Bam's the corner. Now is he going to take the full final? He will. But Zom still wins the 1v1. That will eliminate.